To the east lie the Bering Sea and Pacific Ocean, a rugged coastline on the rocks. This desolate wilderness suits the red fox. Foxes don't hibernate. They grow thicker seasonal fur to survive the minus 15 degrees Celsius coastal temperatures. It's now time to be social. Males seek out one or more females to mate with. These two have already bonded. They scent mark their territory together, a clear signal for others to stay away. They enjoy their honeymoon to the end of winter, and if they have cubs, they may stay together until autumn, but they have a long way to go before then. At sunrise, the male prowls for food. He relies on his keen hearing and sense of smell. The strange staccato calls of a black-billed capacale echo through the woods. He struts his stuff to impress females. But as the fox tries to pinpoint the source, the capacale gets quiet. He won't be joining the fox for breakfast. The female has been digging a new den. Foxes may have several snow holes within the territory. In Europe, foxes can return to the same site for generations. But here in Russia, they must dig temporary homes first. When the snow melts, they move on. A ptarmigan has become her partner's next target. Like the capacale, he's on the prowl for a mate. The fox stalks cautiously using the woods for cover as he follows the bird's scent. While the ptarmigan seems vulnerable, the open field spoils the fox's plans for an ambush. But he isn't easily deterred. Just beyond his reach, the fox gives up. The day hasn't started well. He must return to the den empty-handed. No hard feelings. The boxing match helps the couple bond, and when spring comes, they'll be ready to care for a new generation. 